Well, we are in our second year of uh, operation, just beginning our second year of operation in this facility, and it's been a, a game changer, really. So it's allowed us to do more of our arts and sciences, general education courses in the current building, the public safety building. Of course, we do specialized courses in the annex, but what it did for our regional aviation and technology training center is allow us to convert some space. So we're bringing some trades to this area, we know that HVAC is a, in dire need on the Outer Banks and in Curry Tuck because of the expansion, so we're bringing that and our dean and our faculty are working diligently to make sure that we bring some of the technical trades to Curry Tuck to augment what we're already doing. Curry Tuck's one of the fastest growing counties in North Carolina, one of the fastest growing counties in the nation per capita. So we are certainly proud and glad and appreciative of having a campus like this in Curry Tuck. It's very important to, to increase educational opportunities for citizens of the county. Curry Tuck is well known for its strong education uh, system, going back to Joseph Knapp and uh, his, his uh, investment in Curry Tuck County and its educational uh, system. This kind of piggybacks off of the uh, Aviation Technology Training Center and partnership that Curry Tuck County has with a College of the Albemarle, a, a fine facility that we built that has in there training for uh, aviation related uh, industry. Um, and so this was just a, a natural extension of that ongoing partnership. We felt it also important to bring into Curry Tuck County basic law enforcement training. And we've, we still have some idea perhaps in the future of, of building a fire training facility somewhere on county property uh, in this area to again further educational opportunity but also uh, Curry Tuck's support and respect for uh, emergency responders. Anything that we do, we try to think central and flexible. So we want to make sure we can pull as many people in as we can to our campuses, and the location of this is perfect for bringing folks from the Outer Banks, from, of course, all over Curry Tuck, Camden, even Elizabeth City, because we are so small as a college that we cannot duplicate or replicate programs everywhere. So we have to be strategic in where we put programs, where we put our campuses, where we put our facilities, where we put our money. And so this was certainly a, a no-brainer, if you will, for an expansion of our Curry Tuck facility and expansion of our programming here. Because we, again, pulled from even J.P. Knapp Early College, the Camden Early College, and of course the location makes it easy to get to with uh, the road access. I just want to say as the president of College of the Albemarle, we cannot uh, underestimate the importance of this facility and this partnership with Curry Tuck County. And we're not done yet. So we have other plans and I know Curry Tuck wants to have a strong community college. They are supportive of College of the Albemarle and the Board of Commissioners and the citizens we could not be more thankful to you all for the support that you provided for this facility. And we plan to make sure that we provide the bang for the buck. We want to bring back economic impact. The economic impact currently for College of the Albemarle is $105.3 million per year. So we spread that out over seven counties, obviously. But the more educational opportunities we can bring to an area, the more the economic impact, the more return on investment that the county has made in us.